74. And he told all the gangs in New York, listen, the more we shoot and robbing and stealing and killing each other, none of us are gonna be anything, when none of us are gonna go anywhere. Everyone agreed. And they formed a new thing called Zulu Nation. Within Zulu Nation, which is all these gang members that just put down the rag, put down the gun, and they said, we're gonna do something positive. The whole city of New York, if you could just imagine that for a minute. Thousands of people that were part of different gangs fighting each other. This dude, Africa Bambada, comes up and says, we have a new plan. You can change your life by becoming an MC, a DJ, a B-boy, a graph writer, and so on, and you don't have to die in the street. All the gang members said, yes, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard KRS's thing. Let me hear. Um, you know, there's been a lot of the documentaries, a lot of the books that are coming out, and I think you, you kind of touched on them. It seems to be certain myths that keep <laughs> resonating, and maybe you could clarify it. One of them, as you said, is that uh, there was the myth of, like, people stopped fighting and started breakdancing, and, you know, me and you, I, I definitely remember <laughs> that. Uh, there were some very uh, shady days back in the day, so um, maybe you could talk about, you know, clarify some of those myths. And the other myth that we also have is that, you know, everybody was all together under one umbrella, which, you know, I mean, I, I found it kind of hard to believe living in the Bronx where, where we lived, you know, I mean, you couldn't go certain parts of the thing because of racial tension. But maybe from your standpoint, you can clarify some of these myths that are kind of, you know, floating around. Yeah, that's, that's because we have a lot of the, the so-called new hip-hop scholars who never come and sit down with the, the architectures or the pioneers of hip-hop to find about what really went down. And, and people are rewriting history in hip-hop, just like that VH1 Honors mess that was on TV. It was nice to see people together, but we see that you know it's coming through all the different rewrites or the way uh, I have to call it out there, brother Russell Simmons and some of them are putting out there and, and it's a shame because we got to show that the hip hop wasn't always as peaceful as you think and it came from a part where it was so much chaos and violence to bring from out of the negativity to the positivity out there. It was a lot of struggle to get some people to, to come under the umbrella of the Universal Zulu Nation. Then you had other groups who just wanted to stick with the violence and sometimes it had to be clashes uh, like they had with certain wars to, to, to go in and conquer to bring about peace. So, you know, all the people that think it was, oh, no, don't fight, let's break. <laughs> And we won't, we won't. That's like, 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 like rappers, rappers always pretending and stuff. That's what they, what we call rappers, and where you really can't MC. You're just a rapper that's always pretending. Well, we, 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 when you talked about bringing them into peace, that reminds me of a, a housing project near Jennifer Lopez, uh, Castle Hill. You know, you know what I'm talking about, where you guys had to kind of go and regulate to really bring people under the, the fold, so to speak. Big time. I mean, we had many type of rumbles that we had to deal with different communities that in our areas in the southeast bounds we had a large um, communities of housing projects and a lot of times um, in Browns River we used to really sit down and think before we attack and we you know I used to take things in history and say well how would um 